¿Qué pasó? ¿Cómo están? How is everybody doing? Welcome to one more video. Today I am working on some uh, Under Armour hoodies, sports thingy. So stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. the um, Under Armour hoodies, sports jackets, hoodies, yes, hoodies. But they're not, uh, they're stretchable. They're, they're I, I don't know if I, I said that word right, stretchable. They're elastic. Let me see, let me put this camera down. Sorry about the shaking. I wanna let you see what I'm talking about. But these ones, they stretch, they, they they're stretchable, and I was scared do, to do it because I never done something like this. I never put uh, uh, letters, so he pressed vinyl. I never done any screen printing in, in, on this kind of material. And and I, I told my customer, let me try one, which uh, I said before I messed them up, messed all the all, all of them up. And I says, yeah, uh, so we put the letters, and they they can stretch uh you can see they're not nothing's gonna happen to them so i told them all right every, everything is fine so that's what i'm doing today I'm, i gotta do 21 of those so stay tuned and uh and i will let you see this the heat press is ready i am ready so let's do this I don't want to destroy the bag because I want to put the, the the hoodie back inside the the bag. So what I got to do, this uh, is small. So the way I'm doing it, obviously I got to unzip it. Put it in there. Let's see. This one is extra small. Gotta get my measurement right here. We're gonna go a four and a half. Cause the guys wanna make sure they own the man, the owner, the boss. You know, the guy that owns this wants to make sure that people can see uh, the name even when the hoodie is down. I mean, you know, when this, because the, these ones, you can put the hoodie in a bag, uh, fold it, and, uh, and with this, you know, once you fold it, it goes into a, like a pocket, and yeah. There you go. So you've got to make sure that it's even. Got to preheat it a little bit. Take the wrinkles out. And let's do this again. So this one goes right there. Let's Make sure that I got the right height on this. And we got four and a half. And there, there, there it goes. This thing is a little. All right, so there, there's the first one. Let's peel this off. And let's do it again. 
to make sure that it's going to stay there. And then in the bottom of this, each, each hoodie is going to have a, the name of, not the name of, yeah, the name of the state, which is Utah. Because they're representing Utah too. They're going to do this sec, uh, Taiwando karate place. And they're going to go to a, a tournament. And they want to make sure that they know where they, they, they're from. So this one, I'm lining up the, lead, the bottom of the letters to the hem and this uh, hoodie. So I don't have to measure. Can't really see. So I need light. There it goes. Oh, come on, light. Stay there. So the bottom of the letter to the hem, left to right, two fingers, two fingers, and that's what we're going to do. Six seconds. Actually, th this vine is supposed to be, yeah, six seconds, and then we peel off, and then we do another four, five seconds, three seconds, just to make sure. And there you have it. See, let me zip it up. These are like a windbreakers. It's not a, it's not a hoodie. It has, you know, they're like just like a, a windbreakers. I think that's how they call them. But there you have it. This is small one, and this one goes with this bag right here. So, what do you think about this hoodie? This um, Man, I keep calling them hoodies, but they're not hoodies. The windbreakers from uh, what is the name of Under Armour? It's the brand. I'm doing it. I'm doing the um, the heat press vinyl, and uh, again, I never done this before with this kind of material. Have you? Okay, I'll be back. I have to take care of the customer. So let's keep doing this. He had he came to pick up his magnets. I made him a couple of magnets for his car. And uh, so he wanted to come and get him today. This, um, I gotta make sure that I don't wrinkle or crisp, 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 make a line in, on the jacket that it looks like somebody ironed it, <laughs> made a line in that. I don't know if I, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Sometimes my, my English is, is out of walk. Because in case if you haven't noticed, my first language is uh, Spanish, and sometimes when I'm talking, the um, Spanish must come out before the English, and I start Spinglish instead of, the, and uh, sometimes I wonder if I should just do one instead of trying to do English and should do it in Spanish, but all right, guys. So, we're coming to the end of some wonderful time pressing some um, some uh, Under Armour windbreakers. I think that's what they are. This not they're not hoodies, just like regular hoodies, they're windbreakers, but they're stretchable. In case if the person is a little overweight like me, like, you know, it can fit him right on. So, we are coming.
to the end. Gotta do four more and that's it. And then I gotta put them back in the bag, fold them and put them back in their bags that I took them off. These ones are the extra large for men and these ones are huge. And it's got an extra piece in there that I don't want it to be there. I should get me one of those um, jiggy majiggies to measure um, you know to put this in the right place but I like to do measure most of the time I uh, measure one or two and then just do the rest of them the same height and you know like this ones I gotta measure most of them because I don't want them to be um, off the customer wanted to make sure oh he asked me to make sure that um, when I put the letters they're not, they weren't going to be covered by when, you know, the hoodie. Because um, he, uh, before he came here, he got some hoodies done and uh, the letters were too high to where they, when they put the hoodie, took the hoodie off. Um, or, what, you know, uh, it was covering some of the letters. So he, he wanted to make sure that that, that wasn't going to happen. Because this, um, the hoodie and this thing, the hood, the thing you put in your, over your head, it's, it's most of the time it's folded inside in, um, in this little pocket. But um, he says that sometimes they take them off so they can, they open it and they unfold the hoodie or the hood so they can sweat, I guess he said. I don't know. I'm just doing what he asked me to do. So I got the, um, The letters from this to, to the top of the letter is four and a half inches. Um, that way when they unfold the hoodie, they don't block the letters. So, yep. I was scared doing this because I never tried this kind of material. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, you, it's just, you know, I don't know the name of it, but I know that it's stretches. And I was afraid. I said, man, I don't want to mess it up. You know how much he paid for these things? He brought these things to me. He paid 60 bucks for them. See him? And I was thinking, I says, man, I better not mess it up because... I don't want to pay 60 bucks uh, for something that I, I don't have to. And that's when I when he brought him, I told him, hey, I can try one, but I won't be responsible if it gets messed up because, I, again, I never tried it before. I never done it before. So um, I explained to him that... Uh, and he was okay with it. So yeah, it's fine, just do him. Try one. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And one of the things that I was afraid, and I told him, you know, this this is uh, vinyl. 
uh, this material is going to stick to that, and then when you try to stretch it, it might get uh, messed up. So we try one, and we put we stretch the once it was on the on the on the jacket. I stretch it. And he was here when we did that, and he says it's fine. Let's do it. So you know, just want to make sure that I, that I wasn't gonna end up messing up. Twenty one. <laughs> well, obviously, if I wouldn't see it. And one of them I would have stopped right away, but there are 21 of these things. And uh, so, you know. This one right here, I'm just going by these lines in between, right in the back of the this garment. It's got two two lines, so I'm just putting my fingers in there and guiding myself with it. But this one has got a piece right here. There it goes. I don't want it to stay there because, and then it's gonna have an extra piece. I'm gonna change my table. I'm gonna redo my table right here. Because um, this table is boring right here. And I don't like it. So I'm gonna do another one. I'll reinforce it. Or reinforce this one and make a different one. But I can tell there's something's not right in the table. So don't forget to leave some comments. Tell me what do you think about these hoodies. Again, I, I keep calling them hoodies, but they're windbreakers. Oh man, you know, you know what I mean. Those masks. Two more. Um, and I don't know, uh, if you know, obviously you probably know better than me. There's someone up there that knows more than me, always, always. Um, can you, uh, screen print this kind of material? Elastic material? A hundred percent, I think it's a hundred percent, um, what you might call it? Um, polyester has to be. It's no, it's no cotton, cotton in this material. Now, I was talking to someone the other day. I was, I was live doing, you know, some work. And um, the person that was watching asked me something, and I said, you know what, I don't know exactly. And he said uh, to me, that's why I don't do videos on something or with something that I don't know when people ask me questions. And, and to a point, it's true, you shouldn't, because people are going to ask you questions if you don't know. Uh, but I also think that uh, if uh, if you don't know, you can, you know, that's a good way to learn because other people has done it before, other people has experience in it, and then if they see you doing it the wrong way, you know, they can give you an advice and say, hey, you don't do it that way or you do it this way. So my point of view is, uh, or, or I said that if you know about uh, uh, doing this kind of material 
uh, screen printing and then run it through the convert dryer. What do you have you done it? Uh, have you had the experience? Uh oh, I think I'm missing a w one sign. No bueno. Oh shoot! See what I was doing? I was about to mess up. I was gonna put the wrong part, the wrong letters in there. This one has some uh, little parts right here. They shouldn't be there. Um, so my question was, have you done this polyester uh, stretch, a stretchable uh, windbreakers with heat press? I mean, with uh, run it through the conveyor dryer, you know, do the the ink and then dry it or cure the ink with the conveyor dryer. What are you have you done it before? Let me know, you know, um, because I want to know. Uh, I don't know everything. Obviously, I'm not an expert. Uh, I'm an all around sign guy. I do all kinds of things. And this this uh, apparel situation or things that I do, um, you know, I started doing it a couple of years by now, but, uh, you know, it's on and off, and some things I still don't know how to do, some things, uh, you know, I, I, like the other day, uh, a guy came with this uh, Carhar, I think that's the brand, or the... Uh, jackets, those thick, thick jackets, and he says, hey, uh, he asked me if I can uh, do some uh, the embroidery on his, on his jacket, on his jackets, and I said, sure, well, my machine doesn't, the, the hook, the hoops for the machine that I have, they're not for that kind of material, and I was struggling trying to put the, the I actually, uh, digitized the logo and got it digitized and with um, finding out if I was going to be able to do them or not. And um, so I, I, I put the, the jacket on the tried to put the hoops on it and it was no way that I was going to be able to do it. It, they were, it was too thick and every time I tried to put the, 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 um, the hoop on it it will pop. It won't stay. So I tried to, uh, some guy around here, I went to see him and I said, hey, can you do these jackets for me? He goes, oh no, my, my machine doesn't do that. You need a uh, special hoops to, to do that, to hold that kind of thickness. And uh, so I had to call the customer back. He says, you know what? I am so sorry. I can't do your... your um, your jackets, and by this time I already had done, you know, the digitize the logo. I got it digitized and everything, so I lost my time, money in there, and the customer because I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't know. I just figured out, oh, yeah, I do it. Cause the machine does it. So there's things that are still lots of things that I still gotta learn because I'm not a hundred percent doing screen printing and, and embroidery or this kind of, I do, you know, everything. I do banners, signs. Right now, I got a, this white thing right here. Uh, I'm going to be building a, a channel letter sign for a, for a new business they opened uh, not too long ago. And they called me and uh, I got the job and I'm going to be building some channel letters. And then um, uh, I do, you know, electrical and non-electrical signs. Uh, so it's like, all right, so that's the last one. This is the last one. And uh, there you have it. Yeah. Okay, let's turn off this machine. And this one is, what size is this? 
extra large. Look at this is extra large and look at how little it is. Anyhow. Alright guys, so the next thing to do it's um sorry I shook you I shook you. It's fold them and put them back in in the bags and uh, Call the customer and let him know that they're ready to pick up 21 hoodies or 21 windbreakers. And I just want to thank you for uh, taking the time and watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Again, let me know what do you think. Let me know what I was saying about uh, this material. Uh, they're, uh, again, they're 100%. I know they're 100% um, polyester. They're not... Uh, cotton and um, they're, they're stretchable I don't know it's a uh, it has to have a, a, a sticker where it says what they are but um, let me see because all it, all it has is the, uh, the brand the name yeah it doesn't have nothing. But yeah, uh, thank you for uh, step, stepping by and uh, watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Give thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you think. Give me some comments. Uh, I want to learn. Uh, and uh, yeah, again, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up. Like the video. And uh, thank you very much. And before I see you again, be blessed and stay blessed. i catch you next time. All right. Bye-bye.